I'm ZerTapTap and welcome to some more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. First things first, I actually wanted to show you something. Uh, this is a game called Punches Bears, or it's that's its like working title. I just thought this this is another game with procedural animations and low poly style. And tell me this doesn't need to be in this game. Just I don't know if any of these I don't think any of these have videos. It's it's still you know sort of early development, but they do some amazing animations with this, and it's all procedural stuff. But looks so good there's um there's dancing too but why isn't this bear already in this game i mean well because it's you know basically a game jam prototype at this point but imagine this but versus my little dudes this, this basically has to happen and i've already asked the dev um for punches bears if they'll be like trying to do a collab or anything but uh how perfect would that be Anyway, I'm a little curious as to exactly how useless archers are. This is a little loud. I, I I changed how I do my audio on my PC, and I'm still used to 30 being the volume that I record at. And um, I wonder if they're so useless. If they're worse than peasants, I am curious. I am genuinely curious. Um, but yeah, 30 used to be the volume at which... Oh, they're doing all right. 30 used to be the volume at which I um, I recorded everything, but now it's 20. It's not really that hard or complicated, just old habits. So they are better than villagers, or peasants, barely. Oh my god, no they're not. They're actually worse than peasants. They are worse than peasants. They are worse than the cheapest unit, pound per pound. Just barely, but uh, those peasants really... They put it. They put. They put that effort in there. Look at that. I'm so proud of you guys. I am so proud of you three. This guys did the thing. Wow. So peasants are, you know, pound per pound, they're worse than peasants. Let's try. Let's try just 20 farmers, and see how bad they are. It's just so bad. Somebody asked me to show how useless peasants are, and I told them, well, you probably saw the last video, but I mean, they are so bad that I tried to give them protection, and all they did was kill the protection, the shield guys. Okay, if you drastically, if you give them a drastic number advantage, then they kind of win. Oh, and one of the developers told me, um, they do, oh, there you go, right there. They, they do have a chance of having their weapon fall out of their hand because, and I quote, because it was funny. Oh, they can still fight like that. Their hands are just messed up. Oh my, he's, he's the freaking Terminator. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't leave that one, li don't let that one live. If this guy wins, oh my gosh, if this guy wins, you can do it, you can do it, man. You can do this. You got this, you got this. The world is your oyster and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do what you do to oysters. I'm not sure what that is, but you gotta do it. Uh, you gotta try not to get sick and die because oysters are like food poison. No! No! This is sadder than the Titanic. I need a minute. Okay, I'm over it. Hmm. Let's try 20 shields. Actually, no, that, that'll probably be, that'll be easy for the shields. But whatever. See, I wonder, can shields even be damaged by the arrows, or do they... <laughs> okay, I say that, and now they're doing... What? What is this? When did this happen? Since when can they do that? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> okay, the archers are upset that I called them terrible, which they are. And they're trying to prove me wrong. They're still terrible, but... Um, kind of impressive today. They're still worse than poachers, though. <laughs> but look at this. <laughs> I, I love that he just sniped his buddy. He, he was there was, an, there was an enemy right in his line of sight. And being the archer that he is, he just shot his friend in the back <laughs> instead. Right, so that was much closer than I thought it would be. I, I guess they... I don't know. Does the bolt maybe pierce the shield, and then if it happens to hit the polygons in the face, it kills them? Or maybe that just... That's the only way I could think of that happening, because I don't think they can get quite at the arc that will actually contact their head. 
I'm not really sure how these guys' hitbox works. Hitboxes work though. Is there any secret developer see the hitbox mode? Doesn't look like it. I think we just have our basic Unity camera controls. Hmm. So that was closer than expected. Let's see how many poachers it takes to beat 40 archers. I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna bet 25. We'll easily handle this. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Oh! They're getting better at these initial volleys. I swear the game's like, no, tap tap. I'm sick of your crap. And I'm gonna prove you wrong. <clears throat> They're so polite! Look at this! They're so polite! Okay, maybe I slightly underestimated the archer's abilities. They're still really bad, look at this. <laughs> Look at him go! Look at him go! They're so accurate, the poachers, it's amazing. Look at them, just one by one. <laughs> this is the best thing I ever saw. They're so bad, look at that. Uh, <laughs> they must be programmed to like deliberately miss by like, like they must have a margin of error programmed in. It looks like they're programmed to try to aim short. Oh my god, they're winning. These two guys! These two guys took out like 30 archers. That is amazing. <laughs> wow. I didn't think they would do it. <laughs> but those madmen. How about... Let's try just... Four chariots and a poacher. Let's see how that works. <laughs> ah, the problem with the chariots is if they go after the same targets, they are vastly less effective. Um, but uh, they're still gonna win. The chariots and the single poacher. I don't think the poacher is even gonna get to kill anybody. Ah, uh, no, he, he, he will. He'll be fine. Is that guy? Oh no, that was a that was a that was a red or that was a blue corpse. <laughs> Look at him calmly go, just trotting over the remains of the fallen. What a what a man! Just standing in that ragdoll corpse. He can't. He's, he's flying. He can't get off of it. <sighs> Terminator. I swear, one poacher is worth like ten archers. Ten poachers aren't worth a hundred archers, but one poacher is worth ten archers. Like, that's an interesting thing about how this game works. If you, if you spam a bunch of stuff, it ends up, you know, the whole ends up less than the sum of its parts. Oh, I keep forgetting to try foot soldiers. They're so fun. They're like, well, I guess they're just barbarians, but, um, I don't know. I, I guess they're faster than barbarians. But barbarians are just so fun. How could you say no? I just decided this game. <laughs> they just got torn apart. Holy crap! They only lost. They only hit, took like two volleys of ten people. So let's. I wonder if ten, if ten foot soldiers can do this, or foot men. Excuse me. <laughs> I just figured this would be a good warm-up game, so I just figured, you know, warm up my funny bones before I, I do some other stuff today. I'm not sure how many videos I'll do until there's more content, but um, I figured the archers would be worth a laugh because they're just so bad. They're just so bad. <laughs> they're so bad, Parker. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're in the way. Yeah. My cat decided to say hi. So. I wonder, they can't be worse than five footmen, can they? I think they can. This should be a thing. How many... Like, how many archers you can kill with how few units or how few... The cost? <laughs> Look at him go! Oh. It's beautiful. Okay, so five footmen actually can't. Oh, oh, maybe I spoke too soon. It's gonna be risky though. It's gonna be risky, but you go, girl. You go. Oh my god! <laughs> They're killing their own. Oh my god! <laughs> he clutched it. Oh, that was beautiful. That was superb swordsmanship right there. All right. How about 
How about three? How about three and a shield? Let's see how that works. Yeah, how many archers can you kill? Like, what's the highest archer to non-archer ratio you can get and still soundly beat the archers? Okay. This... So... I guess this is a bit too li a few. <laughs> the amazing thing is once you get close enough, they just start killing their own faster than you can kill them. See, look at... Oh. I love how valiantly the shield guys fight. They are they are the best. Oh, also the thing where that one guy was carrying the shield in one hand, that's apparently a thing they can just do. They can lose one grip, like one hand's worth of grip, but not both. Look at this amazing struggle. This is... Oh, 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 hold on. He's mowing him down. He's mowing him down. Oh my gosh, maybe this will work. The archers are so hilariously bad. Aw. Oh. Okay. This isn't looking so good. Can he do it? I'm so glad this... Aw. Oh. Aw, oh, he took an arrow to the knee. Rest in peace. It's close, though. How about just... How about just one cannon crew? I wonder, will they even get close enough? I guess they're pretty good at advancing. So now I'm, I think this is a little too stilted. Oh dang, they, he has to get way closer than I thought he did. I thought he could fire from like pretty much where he stood. <laughs> I love those massive volleys of arrows. I love how they're consistently off. Like, when they calculate their margin of error, the whole group does it at once, so like they all decide, okay, we're gonna overshoot by at least 40% and up to 60%. <laughs> it's, it's so dumb. They are so dumb. They seem to be edging a little closer. I wonder if that's how they're programmed. It could all just be totally random. Oh, they're getting... No, they're definitely getting closer. Okay. I think he is rip in one or two more volleys. Look at, look at that stance. Oh, man. This is... Oh. Oh, man. Imagine this in VR. Oh, he's got an arrow in him. Oh. Imagine just floating around this in VR and seeing those arrows fly at you. Those little googly eyes of doom staring you down. Imagine the horrors of war, first person. This camera is so weird. It even has chromatic aberration. It's got the depth of field. It's got some really weird depth of field. I'm sure there will be options regarding that type of stuff later, but uh, not. So they're oddly good at dealing with siege equipment, but they have to get close enough to actually deal with it. Alright, that's enough dumb. Actually, one more dumb archer challenge. So, we're just gonna do... Hmm. The complicated thing about doing a row of archers is... They're eventually just gonna kill each other. So how about... How about we try like that? Like... Yeah, 175 archers on each side. Let's just see how bad this is. This, this battle may never complete because they are so awful and inaccurate, though. Who knows? Let's get brace yourselves for the lack of frames. The ones of frames per second. Or the seconds per frame, excuse me. Okay, stop moving, camera. I stop. I stopped pressing keyboard buttons like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> okay, let those volleys fly. Imagine sitting in a war room, using this game, to be like, Alright, if we had 50 infantrymen on the field, this is what would happen. And just genuinely, like... I could see that being in, like, a Monty Python universe. They just This is just actually what they use to simulate the battles and decide who to send in. I think the frame rate is actually getting worse. I pressed the button to bring up my frame counter. It's not even working. That's how that's how slow it is. Huh. Well, it looks like Blue's lost it. 
This is this is too slow. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna call it for red. I'm gonna have to call it for red. What is that guy doing? He's got this bow is in the air. Okay, hold on. I have to see this beautiful specimen of a human being over here. I don't care how few frames we're getting. I have to examine this beast in the wild. Oh my god, the overcorrection is real. Look, look at him. I think he lost his bow, but I don't think. Oh no, he's shooting. He's he's fine. He is fine. Don't let anyone question how you hold your bow, my good sir. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna have to call it for the red team. That's enough low frame rate stuff. Hmm. What if we have. Both teams have a front line of shields. One has a bunch of spearmen behind the shields to poke them all to death. And the other... Hmm... Poachers might be dangerous, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Hmm... I guess the money spent is almost even. I'll just put a few... Let's put a few footmen to spice things up. I'll try to keep the costs even, and pretend that means they're balanced. Let's, let's see how this happens. The shield guys seem somewhat immune to... I don't know, maybe? I'm not entirely sure what happens when a shield interacts with a spear. It seems like they die. Or that or my other shield guys also just killed them. I love when they take... <laughs> this guy holding the spear high. He's, he's proud. I think he's lost one hand of grip on the spear. I think that's what causes that. Also, it's really interesting how... You know, uh, it's a game jam game and everything, and the models are all deliberately silly, but it actually it has a really strong visual look to it. Um, the game jam stuff was all by... Um, Oh, it's a Swedish name, so I'll butcher it, but, um, at Hideous on Twitter, there's, um, it's probably in the credits. Do we, wait, do we have credits? We do not have credits. Crap, it's, uh, Andreas Jorgsen, I want to say? It's, um, he's at my Steam friends. Um, I'll, I'll put it in the description. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's already in the description. Wait, why did we clear? Oh, because I was looking for credits that didn't exist. Um, I, I, I'm curious now. I want to see exactly what the interaction between shields and spears is. So let's just do that. But yeah, the the guy who did the uh, the art for the original. Uh, oh, yeah, I think shields do beat the spears. There's some casualties both ways, but uh, I don't think the spears pierce. I think it's... Actually, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I love the dorky guys that lose their stuff. What are you doing? What are you doing? Also, if you're watching, I'm sorry I forget your name exactly. I just remember people buy, uh, buy their online handles more often. I I don't even even when people know my real name, I I prefer to go to by tap tap just because that's that's the name I picked for myself. That's pretty much what I most strongly identify with. And just, you know. Oh. I guess this spear does pretty alright against the shield. But yeah, if even if I know your real name, I'm probably gonna think of you as, you know, either whatever I knew you as first. Or whatever is most commonly associated with you, but yeah, I tend to go by Twitter handles. Oh, he's stuck. And also, when your name is at hideous, I, I can't not remember that. <laughs> I mean, that is very memorable. There you go. There you go. Oh, look at this guy. It's freaking Braveheart over here. Look at his tiny little eyes. I'm so glad there's variation in the eyes. His Crappy tiny little eyes give him so much spirit. Look at him. Look at him go. 
Look at him trot off to destiny. Where? What is his destiny? Oh. <laughs> I love when they get stuck. I hope they stay stuck forever. Don't don't fix that. It's it's, it's it is a good bug. Um. So let's try some other stuff versus Spearman. Let's try a line of poachers versus a line of Spearman. Ah, so good. Oh, they must be able to take a hit or two. Yeah, they can take a couple. Oh, dang. That was a decisive victory. Holy crap. Man, poachers are overpowered. Let's, let's try some... Let's try a ton of footmen and some bar barbarians for fun. Now those costs are fairly equally balanced. Nice. <laughs> I love the barbarians so much. They embody the spirit of this game so much. Oh, he got stuck in the butt. Rest in peace. Oh. <laughs> He's carrying the body of his fallen comrade as a shield. Take him down! Yeah, get him, boys! Yeah! Oh, that was amazing. Look at look at these tall-eyed gentlemen. The swarm of tall-eyed gentlemen for the victory. Now I'm just curious as to what will beat up a full row of archers. Let's try... Uh, that's probably too many. That's probably... The boxers are going to win this one, I'm pretty sure. But, uh... <laughs> The boxers have such good stances, though. Such good running. And they, they bundle up. The boxers are very good. The... See, look, look at the... He's like, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna be him. They're like, no, no. You, you gotta... Cal calm down, Jim. Calm down. <laughs> it's, it's a support group over here. Uh, this is the... I, I guess it's because of their arm, their outstretched arms, but they just get stuck on each other so easily, and it's... I'm glad they do, because it's great. Alright, so let's try it. Alright, now it's not gonna work out well. Let's try out a line of those, and some spearmen behind them. Some shields. One chariot. Um, and some boxers behind them. Uh, sure. Oh wait, there's over a hundred boxers. Oh, whatever. Yeah, frame rates could be worse. Could be worse. You know, this is like... I don't know. 15 at least. You know, you can... This is N64 quality. This is... This is passable. Actually, it's pretty alright now. Now that half of the people are dead. <laughs> I love these support groups. That That's the plural of boxers in this game is support groups. Look at... They're so good. I have to, I have to construct something to defeat the support groups. I'm sorry. I cannot allow this a level of unity in a game like this. We must have, we must, we must crush them. Just a crap ton of boxers is very effective somehow. <laughs> Look at that chariot go! Oh, oh, he's gone plaid again. Oh my gosh, they're still alive too. They're not even dead. There's two of the catapults did that. I think the catapults must have a specific bug for that because they're the only ones I've seen do that while alive. And I've seen it on a few. Oh dang. Oh. Those boxer boys putting in work. Oh, this might be close though. Uh, no. <laughs> the tree. I love this tree congregation. They just love the trees. Such good battle cries. It's like, I love the trees. I love seashells. I love seahorses. They're beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. The blue might win. Blue might win. <laughs> Alright, who's left? Is it just are these guys posing with the remnants? I'm so glad the butts are in. You, you don't, don't remove the butts. It's keep keep this adults only for these this hot sexy action here. Look at look at this. Oh, oh, oh! He's on the spear, but he's not dying. <laughs> oh no, he is dead actually. 
It's, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Oh. Is this the last guy? No. Oh. This is going to be an epic showdown. This was a lot closer than I thought it would be. <laughs> Carry the carcass on his spear. Ah. Oh. So good. The, these guys, why don't these guys have googly eyes? It would be so much easier to tell if they were dead or not. If they had googly eyes. I guess you can tell by the wheels. But sometimes the wheels stay stuck like this. Alright. It all comes down to this. It's the eye of the tiger. Okay, they're stuck. They are both stuck. I think... Can you... Can he clip through? Can he do this? Oh. Are you kidding? This amazing battle and we end on a stalemate? Oh, I wish I could give them just... <laughs> He's got his booty out. Uh, I can't believe this ends in a stalemate. This is too good of a battle to end like this. Oh man, look at that knot in his arm. This is... This is why you gotta get... You gotta get a massage therapist, my friend. Get that knot out of your arm. That literal knot of flesh out of your arm. I don't want to let it go, but I'm afraid they're stuck forever. Can I call that one a draw? And since it was a draw, I think we gotta redo this. I think we gotta... I think we gotta give one more try to red. You know what? Just a few peasants just wandering around. Just see what happens. Uh-oh. Rest in peace, frame rate. I think that was... What are the ballistas doing? I think the physics... I think the physics stuff actually gets a little messed up when the frame rate is this bad. Because we see some really wonky behaviors. Like, is that guy... What happened to this guy? What happened here? Are, are you okay? I'll call the doctor. Oh my god. This catapult... Or this ballista was made for him. <laughs> oh, he's fine. And now he's dead. He, he corrected himself for two seconds, and then he died. This is truly a cruel universe. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny, but seeing that guy just walk up and go, ah! That was the best. Now he's dead. Blue can't catch a break, can they? The one time... Oh! That was some good slug in there, buddy. <laughs> the one time they could have won, they glitched into a stalemate. Oh, it's this one guy. Look at him congregate for the dead. Oh, rest in peace, Jimmy. We miss you, Jimmy. Little Jimmy, we love you. Oh. <laughs> nope. They're not having any of that. I thought he was going to kill all of them, but he just raised his hand. He's like, nope. I need to get a gif of that. I'm not gonna remember to get a gif of that. Feel free to make one, I guess. <laughs> but that was amazing. Oh, oh, oh! I love when one of them just has this fiery spirit and just his AI is just brilliant and they kill like 10 of them. Brilliant AI, look at this. <laughs> okay, are, are you guys, oh. Oh, don't tell me this is another state. Holy crap, this is- this was another close one! How am I making these so close? There's like no way this is like properly balanced. Oh my gosh, if he gets his spear... If he- oh, don't get stuck, man, don't get- oh, There you go, there you go, there you go! I'm rooting for you, Blue! I'm rooting for you, Tobias! There- there needs to be an option to put, um, some cutoffs on these fine gentlemen. I just can't- Blue did it! Oh, he did it! I can't see the blue booty and not think that there's dozens of us. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this team and we're gonna... What can defeat this wonderfully synergistic team? So, we're gonna have some poachers here. Have some cannon crews. Have a bunch of spearmen, a bunch of shields. 5,000, we got 5,000. And I want just a ton of barbarians just in totally random positions. Just to keep things interesting. And, and a couple footmen. I keep forgetting the footmen even exist. 
So I'll give them, I'll pay them some lip service. And a ballista, or a catapult, whatever. I keep mixing up the siege engines. But yeah, th there just has to be an option for um, Tobias's delightful um, cutoffs for these gentlemen. <laughs> like five seconds in, and somebody's already gone plaid. I can't even see. Okay. Okay, blue is cleaning up this time. Blue. Oh. It's kind of an interesting thing. It, the battles come out very close, no matter what. As long as you just spam a ton of crap, it seems like, like just because groups die so fast, it, it ends up being a lot closer than you would think. And that is actually really awesome because you can just spam basically whatever, and you'll get a, at least a decently dramatic fight. Look at that. <laughs> brother just took a shield to a tank and won. Aw, oh, and then he got stabbed in the back. At two, brute. Look at this brute. <laughs> but see, like, that was just, like, I vaguely tried to balance their costs, but I mean, there's no effort to balance this. This is just random garbage. And it came out so close. Like, like, that is magic. That it, That is magic. You know what? Let's just do a bunch... Let's see if they can beat another set of just a ton of random dudes with some cannon crews for backup. And some shields. See, I'm just throwing random crap in there. It, it works. It's it's just magic. See, one just one unit can cause so much hell because of the groups. Like, just that one chariot. Like, the chariots in particular are really interesting because a single one chariot is basically always worth it. Two chariots might be worth less than even one chariot because they get caught on each other and stuff. <laughs> Look at those bodies flop. Look at it go! Look at it go! Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I love physics. Okay. There's other games that are actually coming out pretty soon that I need to play, so I think I'll call this my last match. All right, well, one, one, one more after this. The victor will get a rematch with something, with something new. <laughs> it's beautiful combat. Okay, blue is so dead. It's not even funny. Oh wait, they got some poachers, so actually, wait. Uh, we got poachers versus the cannons, though, so that's probably... Ugh. Though they could've taken- I think they could've taken the cannons, if not for the random trash they were trying to clean up. Because, you know, they have no strategic thinking. <laughs> Alright. So, Blue, you had, you had your time in the sun. But now... Let's try a big, let's try that phalanx sort of thing again. Bunch of spearmen. I'm gonna try to keep the costs equivalent. Oh, that guy's just out of the field. Put some evil poachers, because those guys are crazy strong. And some boxers, just because they're hilarious. And, and one chariot. You gotta have that one chariot. The one chariot makes all the difference. See? See? Such a good unit. Such a beautiful... Such a beautiful sight. Blood and sweat staining the sands of the battlefield. The deserters running in terror. The cannoneers taking out after their own men. Or no, they're taking out after that blue guy. I hope that eventually you can just coincidentally destroy that church or something with the physics objects. Wh where did that arrow come from? Did you see that? Somebody's firing arrows at the camera. I'm not sure who they think they're hitting. Oh, blue is having it so bad, they're just running away. There's nobody over there. They're just running. The chariot's still alive! How are you still alive? I, I, what are you doing? 
I wonder if there's just like part of their AI subroutine that's just like, hey, I should just run away. I should just stay out of combat for something. This tree is red. Look at this beautiful, oh, it's, I mean, it's maroon, but I mean, look at this beautiful tree. It's, we found something very special today. <laughs> I'm not sure if this battle will ever end because half of our combatants have run. Well, our surviving combatants. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is a good standoff. Whoa. Oh, they're dead. Oh. Well, I wanted it to be a good standoff. I guess the poachers, when the poachers lose their range advantage, they're not too great. See, look at this though. Th this was like a totally random mess with roughly the same cost. That's all I did. And it's such great drama. This poor gentleman is stuck to a tree. But they have to take down, oh, there's only one cannon left. There's only one cannon. They can do this if they get off the trees. Which, I'm not sure that's gonna happen. This is pretty- this is looking pretty bad for Blue. Ah. Yeah, I think Blue just lost. Is that guy alive or dead? <laughs> I can't tell sometimes. He's alive, he's twitching. Oh, this one cannon is pretty much all it took, so there's a red guy over here. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We've got another internet argument situation over here. <laughs> Wait, what even are you? Are you just a peasant? I forget if I even added those. <laughs> okay, so we've got sort of a stalemate here. We, I count... Hmm. So how many blues are there? Oh, wait, actually that cannon, if that cannon survives, he might do this. Aim for that booty. Is he alive? I can't tell if he's alive. Which is really creepy if you think about it, but don't think too much about this game. He's vibrating, so I think he's alive, but I, I don't think he has a line of sight. Well, this is another stalemate. I'm gonna call it for Bl I, th I think Blue did the better job, considering the cannon just wrecked everything. I'm pretty sure he's alive. Because they don't usually move this much after they're dead. Such an oddly morbid conversation for such a silly game. But yeah, I, I think I think he's alive, but stuck. Maybe dead would be better. But yeah, we've got a stalemate. Wait, let's let's count how many people are left. So we got two. We got three blues at least. We got oh, we got more reds. We got one, two, three, four. Wait, just four reds. See, so yeah, that's crazy close. But yeah, th this guy's stuck forever. Oh, we got another. We got another red. Just they really like these trees. I guess. I guess. Yeah. I guess I'll have to call that for red. Actually, considering there's there's more reds still alive. I do love them getting stuck on things, but it's kind of a it is kind of frustrating when it does end up in a stalemate. <laughs> this guy just leaning on this camp. <sighs> but once again, if you have ideas for stuff, just go ahead and suggest ideas for fights. I uh, I'm not sure how many more videos of this will do, but uh, it's kind of good for a warm up just to see some silly stuff and laugh before I do some other videos, so I might do I might do another couple. I don't know. I don't usually do too many, you know, silly things. Once I've, you know, beaten a game or whatever, I usually stop, but uh, reminds me, someone a long time ago, I, I did Wacky Wheels, which is this silly physics um, thing where you ride on a bike. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll let that fight replay while I tell the story, actually. Uh, though I, I, I seriously doubt this is deterministic, so this might end differently. Um, but yeah, I did like one video of Wacky Wheels, and that was a pretty big thing. And I probably should have capitalized it if I wanted to be, you know, hashtag big YouTuber or whatever. But um, they said, "Come on, everybody does Happy Wheel or Wacky Wheel, no Happy Wheels. Everybody does Happy Wheels. At least do like 20 videos." 
Like, they seriously said at least, you know, at least 20. You know, that's... Like, that was just completely reasonable, low number, bare minimum. If you want to do a, be a YouTuber, you gotta have at least 20 wacky wheels. Happy wheels, I'm sorry. Wacky wheels is a... That's that DOS um, kart racing thing, right? Yeah, just... Like, 20 videos on one game for me is unheard of. Well, I mean, it happens, but, like, that's pretty much my limit. Um, I, Valhalla got over 30 videos, and it is now my longest-running series. Like, um... I just don't do tons of, you know, stuff, and I don't tend to do, you know, the silly meme games unless I, like, genuinely find them funny. Like, this is genuinely good and funny, and combines a lot of things that I really like all into one game. Like, Medieval is a pretty good, cool aesthetic. It's got the flat, um, the flat shading and the low poly, which I love that. It's got the AI versus AI stuff. I really love that, and the physics, like... It's genuinely funny with its, um, with the animations and stuff. Like, it's not just, hey, here's a broken game with physics interactions. Go at it. <laughs> See, look at the drama. Look at this. <laughs> Go. See, there's more drama being told in this fight right now than there is in, like, 30 Games of Thrones episodes. Like, look at this. Take that, Aya Stark. This. This is where the drama is at. Look at this. You, you can't write this. You can't, you can't write something this beautiful. You, you can't just artificially create this. This has to happen naturally. Rest in peace, soldier. You're in a better place now. A world free of war. Blue finally did it. See, I, I told you, it's not indeterministic, so Blue happened to win that time. <sighs> I figured I would be super bored of this, but... I'm not, but I, I still want to kind of see some more content. I The real alpha should come soon-ish. Um, I'm not sure how much is going to be added for that or not. Um, I, I just rarely do the early access stuff, so I don't know. I never know what to do. Like, I didn't know what to do with the first slime match either. But yeah, I, I don't know. If you got ideas, feel free to give them to, them, to me. I don't know if I'll do more. But whenever I say that, I usually end up doing more. And then whenever I say I will do more, I usually don't. I'm not sure how that works. Anyway. <laughs>